and welcome to another video on Plum Pot Gaming Channel. Uh, today I will be painting a green screen on my wall. <laughs> so I haven't done this before and it's actually been a while since I did any DIY work. <laughs> so this should be quite interesting. Hopefully it turns out all right. Um, I didn't find too much help online so I'm assuming it's pretty easy and straightforward to do. So just to be sure I did buy proper green screen paint just to make sure that the color was going to be right uh, this is from mag paint and it's actually so sweet they with the with their delivery they include the little thank you note personalized i appreciate that sort of thing that's very cool and yeah so i'm quite excited i, I bought a half a liter tin and apparently this should cover about a five meter squared surface area so just to try this out, I'm just going to paint the one wall and then see if I can get it working with the software and if it works and goes well then maybe I, I'll extend it a little bit on the other walls. We'll see, I, I don't really know what I'm doing. <laughs> so We just uh, play it by ear and see how it goes. So I have prepared the floor with some plastic. I just had some plastic bags, bin bags that I cut open and, and sellotaped to the the floor with masking tape uh, so that I don't paint the floor <laughs> and yeah I think let's get started So once the green screen was up and painted <laughs> and dry, I wanted to try it out with some software. So I thought, well, since I'm using the Oculus Quest, uh, I will first try the Oculus Mixed Reality software. That is also in beta, I think. Um, so I tried it out, but unfortunately, I tried it with uh, Beat Saber and unfortunately, it, it, I couldn't get the orientation of the game correct in the green screen recording so I couldn't actually play mixed reality with that um, so then I tried the live software they also have a, a beta for the oculus quest uh, so after setting that up it worked pretty well um, as you can see it, it, it looks great on the green screen I was just at the wrong angle <laughs> at first but then, because uh, obviously I have no idea what I'm doing, and this is the first time I've ever used a green screen in my life, but I think it turned out pretty well. So after tweaking the sides a bit of the video and getting the full screen, the game full screen, I, I think it looks really cool. And it was so fun to play and then look at the recording and see yourself in the game. <laughs> um, I must say both the Oculus Mixed Reality and the Live were quite straightforward to set up. Not too bad. Uh, the Live actually has a whole video explaining you step by step how to set it up, so that was perfect. And um, the only thing is, when I was playing uh, the mixed reality with the Live and recording the game in the headset at the same time, I sometimes experienced very bad lag <laughs> spikes. So I would, you know, be jamming Beat Saber, and then all of a sudden it would stop and then catch up with itself and as a result I would be missing a bunch of uh, <laughs> blocks and then fail the song so that that's not so good I will experiment a bit and see how much 
the, the quest can handle with this. My next step is to get a, a USB-C converter for to try out the Oculus Link. So I don't have a USB-C on my computer. It's that old. <laughs> and um, then I will try with the Oculus Link and maybe the, the wired connection is a bit better than the Wi-Fi. Um, I did have it on the five gigahertz band. So then again, it is still in beta. So maybe they will make some improvements with that. But yeah, this whole experience was really fun and I'm very excited to continue further and see how we can develop this mixed reality immersive VR adventure. <laughs> Thanks very much for watching and if you would like to support the channel then all you have to do is please give the video a like and hit the subscribe button and of course join in next time. <laughs> Bye!